Here we have the position control system of a laser, and you want to select the control gain K to minimize the effect of disturbance. The disturbance in the system will come right before the plant is going to be applied at this point here. We want to select K so that these effects are neglected, but you also need to ensure that a K is appropriate to maintain a zero steady state error for changes, for changes in R of S. So let's just start by verifying the influence of K in the steady state error when an input command is given at R of S. To do that, we need to find the transfer function between Y and R and set T to zero. The transfer function y of s time divided by r of s is simple as the multiplication of these two functions and the feedback loop. So you have 2k over s, s plus 1, s plus 4 divided by 1 plus the same function. And this simplifies to 2k over s s plus 1, s plus 4, plus 2k. Now let's find the steady state error of this transfer function when we give an input to uh, R of S, and let's assume that that input is a step input. So our error now becomes that input R of S minus this, times the input here again, which is R of S. All right, this is the transfer function. We multiply that by R of S, we get Y of S. So this entire part here is Y of S. The error now becomes R of S, we can factor out, and that is going to be one over S if we assume that R of S is a step input. So R of S is 1 over S. This becomes 1 minus 2K S S plus 1 S plus 4 plus 2K. The steady state error is the limit when S tends to 0 of E of S times S. So this S will cancel that S. And this is now the limit of the remaining of this function here, 1 minus 2k for s, s plus 1, s plus 4, plus 2k. When s tends to 0, we get 1 minus 2k divided by, if this s is 0, this entire term is 0, so we're left with 2k. 2k divided by 2k is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So good news, the steady state error is 0 for all values of k. Now we need to select an appropriate value of k to minimize the effect of the disturbance in the output. We know that a k needs to be between 1 and 10. The question is, which value now should we select so that the effect of the disturbance is minimized in the output? To do that, we now need to find the transfer function between y and t and set r to 0. Now let's set r to 0 and find the transfer function between y and t. We can rearrange this block diagram and start now with t of s. T of S goes to a sum, there is a negative sign here. We have the main line function, the output Y of S, and now K becomes the feedback function K that it feeds a sum with a negative sign. Again, that negative sign there. This negative sign corresponds to this one, and this negative sign corresponds to that one. Now the transfer function here is easy, y of s over r of s is 
2 over s s plus 1 s plus 4 divided by 1 plus this times that 2k s s plus 1 s plus 4 and this simplifies to 2 over s s plus 1 s plus 4 plus 2k and of course these two functions need the negative sign then I forgot the negative comes from this sum now we can define the error the error is anything that deviates from our desired output our desired output in this case is zero we set r to zero now we are analyzing the influence of the disturbance in the output we want this to be minimized we want the system to go to zero regardless of a disturbance being applied here so the error is defined as the desired output that is r in this case zero minus the current output the current output is this function here times the input t of s so minus this because of that negative sign this becomes positive 2 s s plus 1 s plus 4 plus 2k so this is the transfer function y over t so if you now multiply this by t we get y so let's give this t a step input of magnitude a so a over s the steady state error is the limit of e of s times s when s tends to zero which means that this s cancels this s and you're left with 2a over s s plus 1 s plus 4 plus 2k when s tends to 0 this results in a over k and 2 and 2 cancel out this entire term is 0 the question now what is the value of k that it minimizes the effect of the disturbance in the output well we want this term to be minimized so to do that we need to increase k the larger k the smaller the steady state error but you know that a k can only go from 0 to 10 or from 1 to 10 so you can simply choose k to be the upper bound of that limit k equals 10 and this will ensure that the effect of the disturbance in the output is minimized provided the range of stable values of k